Hello again, Internet Rebel. Welcome to another exciting adventure of Mark Blows Up Expensive Things. Uh, last we saw, I had blown up the motor of the kayak. So I've ordered a much more expensive and much larger motor. But in the meantime, I want to go for a paddle and I want to test something else out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the vest controller to control the old brushed motor. What could go wrong with that? Putting some regulated 50 something volts through a 12 volt motor. We'll see how that goes. Uh, the other exciting thing I want to test out is this. This is something I've been working on for a while. We are going to have steering. And I'm going to show you how it works once I've assembled it. Let's do some time lapsing. So what we have now is a nice little 3D printed steering mechanism. Big 60 kilo servo in here. This part's attached to the shaft. This part's just hugging it, but not strongly. And so when the servo moves, the motor moves. And I'm amazed that this actually all just fit really well. Um, this design isn't entirely mine. I based it off a design I found on Thingiverse for um, a Minn Kota motor. And I'll put the link in the thing below. Total credit to the guy who's got his own little electric boat project happening. I had to do some mods to make it fit with the water snake. The shaft is a different size for starters. And um, he had an extra box here for electronics, which I just chopped off. I was worried this wasn't going to quite fit, but it's actually just perfect. And um, the only thing that's going to be a little bit annoying is the uh, the adjusting, hitting the button to move the motor from a horizontal to a vertical position. You can still get at it. And uh, yeah, this just fits beautifully in here. Servo fits beautifully in there. The design's using little captured captured nuts and standard M3 hardware, which I have plenty of, thanks to drones. Um, so the only thing I have left to do is wire this bad boy up. And this can go on my steering control. And there we go. Um, I'll have to put uh, an additional voltage regulator in to get this at the right volts. I think it ideally runs off something like 8 or 9 volts. Um, it's not too happy on 5 and we don't want to stress the Beck circuit in the speed controller to run this giant servo anyway but yeah uh, this is the first time I've actually put it on there and I'm actually impressed something just worked out of the box well it's really skills coming along I was going to save this for the big motor but let's just burn this one out in the meantime anyway I'm going to finish putting this together and um, get it onto the boat so I'll see you then Radio folks, here we go. We're all wired up and installed. I have to say, it's working pretty well. Got quite a lot of expo on. It's got a bit of slop in the system but it should be fine on the water I reckon beautiful it's a bit annoying to get it in the right position but once I have it seems to be working like a treat and that's going well too all right testing time okie dokes here we are everything's fired up ready to go and I know that it already works because I'm already across the river, but yeah, it's 
good. I've limited this thing quite severely, so we're going pretty slow, but turn right. There we go right. It's brilliant. I can finally trim this thing to go in a straight line. And yeah, we're back to the slow walkie walkie pace, but um, once the new motor comes, we're going to have a pretty decent combo here. Hmm, there are a lot of possibilities too. So, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. It's time I had my celebratory beer. And um, yes, I'm going to enjoy this lovely river.